looking at how to set up a chart to do a graph using Java and JavaFX. So here we'll be using IntelliJ IDEA uh, EDU version 2020.1, the JavaFX SDK 11.02 that has to be installed previously. And we're going to be using Java version 14. Again, that needs to be installed uh, in IntelliJ. And I'm doing this all under Mac OS Mojave. Um, so when you want to do something in Java or some other programming language, often you turn to YouTube or uh, one of those other, other sites to figure out what to do. So um, I didn't know how to do a Java FX program in IntelliJ. So I went to YouTube and I found a tutorial right here. And the tutorial is fantastic. Um, but then how do I combine it with say another tutorial that I found online for doing a graph? Well, I'll run through the first tutorial first and then I'll modify it so that I'll bolt in basically an example on how to do a graph uh, on top of what I learned in, in this particular video right here. Okay. So um, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to start up a project in IntelliJ. So a new project, and I'm going to uh, choose a Java FX project. So I'm going to go to new and then IntelliJ should fire up and give me a window that says Java or Java FX program, or maybe an Android program. In this case, it's Java FX. So I'm going to select that I've installed the uh, version um, version uh, 11 of Java FX and I'm using Java 14. Okay. So now I'm going to name the, um, the program that I'm going to be writing. So we'll just call it hello world. And we're going to finish that. We'll create a little program. We're going to open it up in a new window. And I get to the, um, the, the main, the first page of, of the source code pro in the, in the project. Okay. And I'm going to have to go a little bit deeper in here. All right. I'm going to go down to click on where it says, hello world, then into the source. And I'm going to look for the main. Okay. So there's main right there. And I'm going to look for the file that's associated with main. And it's this one right here. And you can see there's all sorts of red lettering, which is never a good idea or never a good sign, meaning that there's an error. Well, basically what's going on here, as the video points out on YouTube, um, that, uh, well, JavaFX isn't actually connected up. I have to connect it up. So I've, I've installed it on my machine and IdeaJ knows that it's there, but it doesn't know that it should be associating it with this particular project. And there are different reasons for that, but it, it just needs to be done. So there's a, a step that we have to do here. So we go basically into the project and we're going to go down, we right click on uh, the project name and we go down to open modules. And in open modules, I need to make sure that I click on the modules uh, option or sort of the project. Yeah. And I make sure that I, I'm using a particular uh, Java version. In this case, while the video uh, uses Java 11, I'm using Java 14. It works out the same way, but uh, we're currently using Java 14. So I go through the video a little bit more. And I just want to make sure that the, um, the, the project language level is connected to 14. That's the SDK default. All right. So I just have to make sure that that's the case. Next up, I want to make sure that the language level is in modules is the default to 14. So Java 14, we're using Java 14, um, but we're using the uh, Java FX SDK 11. Okay. The difference in, in sort of project revisions or versions. All right. Next up, uh, I want to make sure the global libraries are done properly. So I have to add in, um, in here. So I'm going to add to modules. So I just got to back up in the video just to make sure that I'm doing this right. So I'm going to right click in here, add to modules. And I just want to make sure that the hello world is added in. So that needs to be connected in. So we're having to reference in the new project that we've, we're creating the hello world project into the global libraries so that all the, the compiling can sort of work seamlessly. All right. So next up, we're going to go to the next step in the, um, in the video. So going back into the project to take a look at all the red lettering has disappeared, which is fantastic. It means that the IDE is recognizing the keywords that are in here which means the library is connected. The Java FX library is connected in. And so methods or functions that are inside there in the Java FX library can be called in to our project. 
wonderful. So let's continue on with the project. And, um, and so we're going to, we're going to run it. Well, compile it and then run it. Okay. But then we realize that something's missing. So what, what is, what's missing? There's always something missing. So we have to configure the project so that, um, we have to do one more layer of, uh, or one more level of configuration. Okay. So let's take a look at, uh, what we're going to have to do here. So we go into source on the left hand side, and then we go down to new. This is module. Okay. So we're making a new module and here we have to, um, specify an element or a couple of lines related to the Java FX. Okay. And this, this has to be done for every single, uh, Java FX project you do. So the Java FX is used for like graphics and things like that. So we're going to do that. We're going to specify a few lines in this particular module right here. Okay, here we go. So we're going to zoom in here and we're going to go for that first line so that Java FX will work once we've done this. So, so uh, we put in requires Java FX dot or period F XML. Make sure to put the semicolon at the end requires Java FX dot controls semicolon. And then finally opens sample semicolon. That's it. Okay. So now we go back into our project and we run it. And then a little window will appear in my, in my case, it's on a different screen. So I have to pull it in. But basically you'll have this application that shows up. Okay. And and, and basically it, it, it shows up and that's fantastic. Now let's imagine that we want to do something a little bit more than just this trivial little window that pops up and we find some example of a Java FX project on the internet and we want to bring it in. Well, basically you can use the project you've got right here as a template and you just have to bolt in the example source file, just to make sure you can, you can get a graph, a nice little graph like this, one that would be well, relatively easy to do in a program like MATLAB little bit more involved in Java, but it's totally doable. So I'm going to copy basically everything that's in here. And I'm going to bring it over. Okay. So I'm going to select some of these import lines right here, and I'm going to bolt them in. Okay. So I put the group one in, I'm going to copy some of the other ones that aren't already in there going to paste those into. Okay. So we've got one that for line chart and number axis and X, Y chart, these are all little modules that are used to create these graphs. So I've bolted those in and now I have to copy this public class right here. And it has at the very beginning, the start component. And you can see in my other Java FX application, there's this public void start business. And then down below it, there's the main. Well, basically I want to copy that, that first block. I want to replace it with the, uh, the start section that we find in the example. So I'm going to copy that over. I'm going to bring it over. Okay. Now, when you do something like this, a really good idea most of the time is to copy it. And the stuff that you're replacing, you just comment it out so that if you have to go back to it, say it didn't work in the first place, you haven't erased it. It hasn't gone away. You can bring it back relatively easily by, by reversing the commenting. All right. So I'm going to copy what's on here and I'm going to bring it over so slowly, but surely I'm copying it. And I'm going to get just above the line where it says void main public static void main, because I don't need to copy that over. So I'm now going to copy the original, uh, public void start part, commenting that all out and just below it, I'm going to replace it. So I pasted that in 
And I think we're just about done. Because basically, it's a JavaFX program, and so it has the same sort of structure as the example we just started off with. So now I've hit uh, run, which will compile it and create a little application. You'll see a, a little down here. There's a little application that shows up in my in my dock. I have to drag it over, and there is my graph. So I was able to create a graph that was similar. It's actually not quite the same as the example in uh, the, the visual that you have right here. A little bit different. The color is different. The markers are different. And, and for whatever reason, the last data point goes in the wrong direction. But anyways, to get the point, we can modify this and go from there.